All right, let's talk about the Green Bay Packers here for a little bit. Look, training camp is in full swing, and we know this Packers team. They've got one big glaring question mark, and that, of course, can Jordan Love become the quarterback? Everyone hopes he can be, and there's a lot of great reports about Love taking big strides so far. But there's another Green Bay Packer, another young Packers playmaker that is impressing everyone right now so far through training camp, and he's not making big moves. The Packers are also making a lot of really smart moves on how they're going to use this guy as well. I think this is a great report out of Packers camp. Yeah, Nick, I think this is just truly a story showing a young player starting to break out and showing what is possible with an offense with a player as dynamic as such, showing that he is able to fit in a numerous different roles. I think it's going to be really exciting for the Packers fans, so stay tuned for that. But Packers fans, training camp is here. The season is just around the corner. Every day we are getting closer and closer to football, so it is time to leave your official predictions in the comment section below. Packers fans, what will the record for this season be? We love to hear from you in the comment section below. You got to leave the receipts for the season so you can come back and say, hey, I called this. So let us know in the comments below what the Packers record will be this 2023 season. But Nick, let's get on into it. Who is this playmaker that is impressing everybody? Yeah, so when it comes to any team that has a young quarterback, everyone's always hyper-focused on that quarterback. But really what a guy like Jordan Love's success will be really tied to are the pieces around him and how they grow and develop. And there's one in particular. We're talking about second-year man Christian Watson, who, look, everyone knew he started kind of slow his rookie year, picked up the pace the second half of the season, and he's continuing that momentum into training camp by making big plays and impressing LaFleur, Coach LaFleur, with his versatility. And I think how the Packers are going to handle Watson going forward is really smart as well. But we got a great report highlighting it. Uh, Myers, can you go and throw it up? This is from Packer Central. Uh, the report opens with LaFleur talking. The thing that is so unique about Christian is you can line him up at the Z and tell him the next play you got to go play F or X, and he doesn't blink. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Z position, the F position, or the X position are just different uh, spots on the field, positions for wide receiver. It's all wide receivers, just where you're lining up. That's tough for most guys to do and switch your brains around like that, LaFleur said. There are advantages to moving Watson around, mostly trying to free him up from teams trying to take him away. When you play teams that have a good receiver and they move him all over the place, it's hard to roll coverage toward him, LaFleur said. He showed off, talking about Watson here, his positional versatility in what may have been the play of the day from Monday's practice. Watson was in the second slot of a trips formation in a team drill. Matched against in his gains, Watson ran a slot fade, beating gains offline of scrimmage, and Jordan Love hit him in stride for a 67-yard touchdown. Look, so it's obviously good that Watson is improving and developing. I think that's really important. He had all the physical tools tools coming out of North Dakota State. This guy's a great football player. We saw flashes. I think the Cowboys game in particular was absolutely awesome. But I want to focus on here what LaFleur is planning to use him have, using him as an X, using him as a Z, which is both sides of the field, the short side or the long side of the field, the boundary of the field for, for the, using the football vernacular or an F position that's just a slot receiver kind of role. You moving him all over the offense will get allow the Packers to get him in situations to make those kind of big plays like he did against Dallas, like he did against Philadelphia. Having him in those positions will be huge for Jordan Love. Jordan Love is going to have some situations where he's going to want just an open completion to a phenomenal athlete that creates a big play where he doesn't have to deliver a beautiful strike down the field. That's what Mahomes got early in his career with Tyree Kill. That's how Mahomes built a lot of momentum early in his career as well. Having a phenomenal athlete who can create separation and make big plays is absolutely 100% what a young quarterback needs to build confidence. I think the fact that Watson is off to a strong start and that the Packers are going to move him all over the formation, I think it's a great sign for Jordan Love, and I think it's a great sign for the Packers' offense. Mice. Yeah, Nick, I really love this story because it just shows the young breaking out of Christian Watson and how good is this guy going to be at a slow start to the beginning of his career, but coming from small ball into the NFL, that's going to happen. D1 AA football is really kind of hard to make that transition into the NFL, and now he is caught up to speed and we sh have seen everything that we knew about. Last year, we talked about it. We said, Romeo Dobbs is going to be the guy that comes out. Christian Watson is going to take a little bit of time for him to get up to speed. But when he got up to speed, he is a dynamic playmaker for this team. He's got the intangibles. He's got the size. He's got the speed to be a true superstar in this league. And Nick, when you think about superstars in the league, you think about guys like Devontae Adams. You think about guys like Justin Jefferson. What do those guys do? They line up everywhere. They're able to do absolutely everything and be you know, a threat all over the field because what do other teams do to superstars? They try to cover them up every way they can and having the versatility, like you said, to move them down to different positions truly is going to be a benefit for this Packers team and it's going to be good for Jordan Love to not have his favorite target 
you know, stronghold to one certain position. He's going to like that flexibility. But I just love this Packers offense as a whole just because how young they are and how talented they are. I think it's a offense that is going to grow together, especially the receiving core. When I speak about how young they are, there's a lot of first and second year guys there. I think this team is going to be really, really improved going forward. And I think Christian Watson is going to have one of the most impressive second seasons as a wide receiver that we have seen because this is a guy that came in once he got hot last year. I think he scored like, what, seven touchdowns after the month of November. This guy was on fire last season, and he showed this Jets. He had a lot of really long touchdowns as well. So I think we're in for a treat, and I think Packers fans should be very excited about this news. Yeah, Mike, you know what he reminds me of in terms of impact he's going to have for Jordan Love's career? He reminds me of what Jamar Chase did for Joe Burrow when Chase joined the Cincinnati Bengals at Burrow's second season. I think that's the kind of impact. I know Watson and uh, Jamar Chase are obviously different, a little different stylistically and certainly in body composition. But I think Jamar Chase gives the Cincinnati Bengals and Burrow a guy who can catch an eight-yard slant and run for 80. He's also a guy that can beat people right off the line of scrimmage. They line him up all over the place, whether he's wide both sides of the field, they put him in the slot. That's exactly what the Packers are going to do with Watson. And I think Watson has the ability to have that same kind of impact for Jordan Love. Because one of the things that's really a struggle for young quarterbacks is having a guy you can go to who you know is going to make a play. Like you see it all the time. Guys are afraid to throw it up in these 50-50 balls against talented receivers because they're not confident because they don't have a lot of separation. The cure for that, we saw it with Jamar Chase. We saw it with Tyreek Hill. We're going to see it with Christian Watson. Have a guy who can create separation on pure physical talent alone that's exactly what watson brings to the table that will clear up the picture so much for jordan love and i tell you what packers fans you're going to see a lot of big plays on this love to watson connection